A Different World is a TV series that first hit the screens in the late 1980s, taking us through the lives and experiences of students at Hillman College, a fictional historically black university. This show, spun off from The Cosby Show, stands out for its blend of humor, real-world issues, and memorable characters. It's not just another sitcom, it's a journey through a range of emotions, from laughter to tears, with some truly surprising and eye-opening moments. Have you ever watched this series and found yourself deeply inspired or impacted by its stories? Maybe there's a personal tale you'd like to share about how this show resonated with you. Or perhaps you had a favorite classic Hollywood actor in the cast who brought something special to the screen. This series was not just entertainment. For many, it was a reflection of real life, a mirror to society, and a source of inspiration. We're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series. Did it change your perspective, or did it simply offer a good laugh when you needed it most? Your stories and memories are valuable, and we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Remember, A Different World wasn't just a show, it was an experience that left lasting impressions. Share your part of this journey with us. The television series in question, initially created as a platform for Lisa Bonet, struggled to find its footing after her departure. The show often seemed like an orphan project, lacking a clear direction. Despite the challenges, it featured commendable performances, notably from Kadeem Hardison, whose talent arguably deserved a more substantial showcase. The series embodied the characteristics of several 1980s NBC sitcoms, heavily influenced by Bill Cosby's prominence during that era and into the early 1990s. However, its portrayal of college life and faculty sometimes felt exaggerated and didactic, which might not resonate with everyone's experiences of higher education. In one particular episode, guest appearances by Mark's Batman Houston, Jerome Romeo Jones, and Kelton LDB Kessie added a unique touch. They portrayed students in a class and paid tribute to Lena Horne, adding an interesting element to the episode. Their appearances in their typical attire, complete with Jerome's eye patch and Marx's bandana and sunglasses, provided a memorable moment in the show. Overall, the series had its moments, but often struggled with consistency and direction. It serves as a reflection of a particular time in television history, heavily influenced by broader trends and personalities of that era. While it had its strengths, particularly in some performances, it might not be as engaging for viewers unfamiliar with the context and style of 1980s sitcoms. The character development in the series show would a significant change, especially with Whitley, played by Jasmine Guy. Originally meant to be in just the pilot episode, her character became very popular, which led to her being a regular on the show. This shift greatly influenced the show's direction and how the audience connected with it, making Jasmine Guy one of the main characters. The series was set in Hillman College, but the scenes were actually filmed at Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. Using a real college made the fictional campus feel more real and appealing to the viewers. Showing a historically black college in this way was important in creating an environment that felt genuine and engaging in the series. Moreover, the series played a big role in shaping the educational choices of its viewers. It particularly struck a chord with young African-American audiences, leading to more students enrolling in real-life, historically black colleges and universities. The show's influence reached beyond African-American students, encouraging a wide range of students to seek higher education. This shows how the series was important not just for entertainment, but also for its broader cultural and educational effect. In short, the series grew with its characters and settings, leaving a lasting impression on its audience and the wider world. From Whitley's character becoming more important to using a real college for a more authentic feel and motivating various groups of students to pursue education, the show had a lasting effect not just in TV history, but in the real world too. In the first season of the series, viewers were introduced to the character Maggie, who mysteriously disappeared after that season with no explanation given for her departure. This absence was notable as it left an unresolved aspect in the storyline, something that was not uncommon in television series of that time. Jasmine Guy, who became known for her role as Whitley Gilbert, had initially auditioned for the character of Jalisa. However, by the time she joined the cast, the opening credits had already been filmed. 
As a result, Guy was not featured in these sequences, a unique situation for a primary cast member. This detail highlights the often fluid and dynamic nature of television production, where casting and character roles can evolve even after initial decisions are made. The off-screen relationship between Kadeem Hardison and Cree Summer, who portrayed Dwayne Wayne and Freddie Brooks respectively, was a notable aspect of the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. Despite Hardison's character being romantically involved with Guy's character on screen, Summer expressed that this did not affect their real-life relationship. She noted that she and Guy were close, almost like sisters, which was in stark contrast to the often contentious relationship between their characters in the series. This camaraderie among the cast members may have contributed to the authentic chemistry viewers witnessed on screen. These aspects of the series, from unexplained character exits to the dynamics of casting and off-screen relationships, contribute to the understanding of the show's production and the environment in which it was created. They provide insights into the challenges and intricacies of working on a popular television series during that era. The relationships and decisions off-screen often influenced what viewers saw on screen, adding layers of complexity to the show's legacy. In August 2006, Nick at Night took a nostalgic step by premiering Hillman College Reunion, a series of new shorts bringing back the beloved characters of the show. This unique event saw cast members Lisa Bonet, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Daryl M. Bell, Cree Summer, and Sinbad reprising their roles. The shorts, which aired during a special marathon of the series, offered fans a fresh glimpse into the lives of their favorite characters from Hillman College. The musical aspect of the series also deserves mention. The theme song experienced a notable evolution over its run. Initially, Phoebe Snow lent her voice to the theme in the first season, setting a tone for the show. From the second to the fifth season, the legendary Aretha Franklin took over, bringing her distinctive style to the series. In its final season, the theme was performed by Boys Two Men, adding a contemporary touch to the series and reflecting the changing times in music. A memorable moment in the series' history is found in the Good Help is Hard to Find episode aired in November 1990. This episode featured the song Try Me from Jasmine Guy's debut album. The inclusion of this song not only showcased Guy's musical talent, but also added a unique layer to the scene, blending the actress's off-screen accomplishments with her on-screen character. These elements, the reunion shorts, the evolving theme song, and the integration of cast members' talents highlight the series' ability to stay connected with its audience, adapt to changing times, and celebrate the multi-dimensional talents of its cast. The show's ability to blend narrative with music and reunions reflects its ongoing relevance and connection to its fans years after its original run.